All right. So for our bonus for today, for whoever listens to the bonus, Rosie, I guess that means you. Uh, we're going to listen to a song. I have to share my... I, I guess I also have to share my song. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's a banjo player I've been following on Odyssey. He does lessons on a lot of interesting songs. Um, he has a song called The Ballad of Kyle Rittenhouse. So, uh, uh, How did I call this? Are we going to listen to that one? Yeah. Oh, well, we could listen to the, the White House Blues, too. That one's interesting because that's actually an old song. That's an old Woody Guthrie song about oh, fighting fascism. That could be interesting. Why are we doing that? You need to flow with the stream, people. Yeah, which which should we do? Kyle Rittenhouse or the fighting fascists? I mean, dude, I think it's pretty funny that he released it three hours ago, so this wasn't <laughs> up when we started like talking. So. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. It's, he already wrote a book. I have, I, have, I have like specific musical questions about this particular thing like music making in this way that we can talk about but let's okay. listen to it let's listen to okay. it okay can you hear it i can come all you friends and neighbors the story i will tell concerning coyote written house and the criminals that he even got a moo moo in the background yeah dude this guy kyle he's already like turned into lore now you yeah see that? He's yeah it's interesting into, he's 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 almost a. <coughs> I don't want to say like a 
like mythological yet, but he's like almost like a superhero now. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm really interested in what this what this song is because first of all, the history of that kind of song mm -hmm. with with that style of banjo playing mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> is very I would say sits traditionally with the dissident left. So I would say it sits traditionally with Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger and either pro union or pro um pro like rail riding hobos vagabonds uh migrant workers things like that so it's very interesting to me that this this musical tradition is being used to valorize Kyle Rittenhouse in this way it's weird it's not weird because everything belongs to everyone now okay uh -huh. like well, I'm not talking about belonging. I'm not saying anything is wrong. I'm saying it is it is a weird shift because I would say that traditionally up until, I don't know, up until 2014 or so, mm -hmm. the the conservative right wing was not really engaging in art in this way. Mm. Maybe. I just feel like that's like, that style is just like a certain vernacular, uh -huh. right? So you're going to have the views you this is like this supports my idea that there is no such thing as like cultural identity. Right. Right. Because no, but he's aligning change. himself with a very he is aligning himself with that particular tradition, especially because of the other tune that we didn't listen to. Well, yeah, the anti-fascism. That's, like that's just like but maybe those are just like the tunes that he learned growing up and now he's expressing his views through that same medium. So I'm saying right. like just because it just because it has the same riff or the same melodic content with the drone and like and the like you know like the sung verse like instrumental verse sung verse like that format even right like it doesn't have any No other, but he's uh, picking songs on purpose I think. Hmm. You you think it's just an accident? What do you mean that he wrote the song that way? Or No, the other songs that he the other songs that so A he's on Odyssey. Oh, I see, I see, I B, see. B he has he has a certain type of song that he pushes. So he is definitely aligning himself with the Woody Guthrie um milieu <laughs> to use an annoying word, but <laughs> uh but Woody Guthrie is traditionally considered of the the sort of Marxist left. Hmm. But, but Woody Guthrie wrote, people? well, here, I don't know. Yeah, of course you can. But Woody Guthrie had on his guitar a sticker that said, this machine kills fascists, which Pete Seeger oh. then, Pete Seeger then took that idea and wrote it around the head of his banjo. This machine kills fascists. Why are fascists so unpopular? I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Poor fascist. <laughs> they just have a, a, the idea of how to run the party and no one else yeah whatever um yeah dude i think so what do you call that type of music like if you're going to give it a name because i, I don't know like like, like socially like, minded folk music maybe but it's like hill music right is that what yeah. to call it like maybe like, like hill music like with the boom chickas music. and the boomba chickas but it's like hick music, right? Like it's like uh -huh. Appalachian, like, like I think it's like, so, like right. But Woody Guthrie was like Kansas, like Dust Bowl music. Okay. See all this stuff. I bet I, you I would day, call that more Dust Bowl music than like it's not bluegrass. It's more like uh like migrant worker mm. music from the from the thirties. Mm. Dude, he's got vibe. He's I know. Vibe. He sounds old school. Yeah. Sounds very old school. <laughs> like that that little thing he did was cool. Yeah. So he's a good player a too. Like and he's a good player. Are you gonna write a tune like that? Uh, about Kyle Rittenhouse? No. I'm not interested. I'm actually not interested in valorizing or making Kyle Rittenhouse a hero. I'm not saying that. I mean, I mean in the style, dude. In the style, like I think the style is cool. Yeah, I'd have to do something to it to make it more me. But more you, yeah. such an individual. Look at you. <laughs> look, look at you. Look at you, Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What 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 about his other as one? What about, what about his it. his anti-fascist one? Anti-fascist. Yeah, the the White House Blues. This is a Woody Guthrie tune. Okay. It's also 
also called the Washington Blues, All You Fascists are my family. So about 700 of those views are from Tifers for sure. That, the, why aren't they playing this at all their rallies? The Tifers, man. Hmm. Up in Portland. They should nice. be using this as like their pro, like they should play it over the loudspeaker. Yeah. I know. People would get so he's got both. annoyed at them. Like that. Like that's crazy. I don't see how, I don't see how, how the ballot, his ballot of Kyle Rittenhouse uh, is, is. I mean, is, they're both strong conflict. statements. But how are they in conflict? I like I see. Like, I I don't I don't think they're in conflict from his ideology, but there is an ideology going around that Kyle Rittenhouse is one of those fascists. Yeah. Why? Uh, because he's a uh, a white kid who was mm, quote that, meddling that in a protest like, or something. Seem, like I think he should have been home. I think it was past his bedtime. But like I don't think that's a fair correlation. Right. He's literally a teenager, right? It's crazy. Well, he's 18 Dude. now, but yeah. But you know what I was just thinking about, like, too, though? Uh, the it, it is time for a revolution, man. I was thinking about it. Like, mm-hmm. the judge, right, was basically like, yeah, so this, like, the or not the judge, I'm saying the jury finding him not guilty, yep. right? Saying this isn't self-defense. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's time we take back, man. It's about time we take back. Like, you, so if, if we're allowed, if we're legally allowed to defend ourselves physically. Yep. And this is what that court case is saying. My physicality also has to do with my currency, my access to clean water. Yep. Hey. Well, let's you go. Know what's, American what, people, what's let's crazy. go. What's crazy? Let's go. I know. Do you know what's crazy is that prosecutor actually has prosecuted other people for acting in self-defense, prosecuted a woman for killing somebody who is raping her. Um, oh, so, uh, what, what would have been the more appropriate response? Please stop. Well, so that prosecutor has an ideology that the state should have a true monopoly on violence and that self-defense is not something that the state has right. an interest in. All right, in. y'all, we got to go over Wisconsin real quick. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. See y'all there. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. No, but I'm serious, man. Like, I'm thinking about the implications of that. Plus, yeah. the way this guy's playing his banjo, just chilling. Yeah. Like, oh, man, it's super strong in a way. Yep. It's super strong. There is something very strong. I'm, like it's making me feel like less silly with the idea of playing music because music mm-hmm. is almost like a the act of playing music. Yeah, in itself is kind of disrespectful to other parts of nature because it's like very vain and like just check out what I'm doing. It's a game, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Oh, we need we need to take it back, man. It's time to take it back. Jeez, Louise, what's happening, man? We gotta defend our money. We gotta defend our money. We gotta defend our property. Yeah, we got to defend our way of life. <laughs> <laughs> you fascists bound to lose. Oh my gosh. But what if the fascists are the good guys? 
Ah, always with you. What if? What if? What if, what if it? What if it's the lesser of two evils? What? What? If? What is the? What are you saying? The fascist is less than what evil? Than the oligarch we live in now. Is that what you call it? I would say we live in a fascist society now. That sounds so, so much more strong than what I said. Mine's just like rich people deciding things. Right? Mm. I don't know. Both are fine. But we. <laughs> I, I, think, I think the next pl step of the plan is we need to take back our water sources, mm. which means uh, the state of California probably needs to attack. Where is it? Nevada, Colorado. We got to control Oh, when you river, say man. we, you mean California. Oh, what do you think I was meaning? <laughs> California oh, first, baby. Oh boy! All right, it's the California state of America, man. Come Those on, fucking I, I'm raisins. being silly. I'm being silly, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was our bonus. Cheery, cheery.